Miss Brooke from the library here. I hope all of you are doing well. I've got a really fun science activity for you and it's about butterflies. Yeah, did you know butterflies help plants much like bees do? Yes, they do. And would you like to find out which butterflies are fluttering near you? If you do, stay tuned for how to make a butterfly feeder. And if you want some free supplies, you can pick them up at the Garland County Library on Earth Day. Okay, here are the things you'll need to build your butterfly feeder. Things that are extra would be orange juice or fruit juice, a glue stick, some scissors, and a pencil. First, you're going to poke a hole in the bottom of your cup with a pencil, and then you're gonna squish your piece of sponge in the hole so a bit is poking out of the bottom. Yes, and it's plugging the hole in your cup. Yeah. Next, you will take some colorful tissue paper and layer it and cut some really pretty petals out of these pieces of tissue paper. Yeah, so you want to attract a butterfly. Butterflies are attracted to pinks and oranges and reds and yellows very bright colors to get them interested to come investigate this flower that we're building. So I've layered the tissue paper to make it easier to cut several petals at the same time. Yep, I've got a whole bunch of petals here that we can use. And the next step, we're going to take a glue stick and glue our petals to the bottom facing down on the cup. So put a little glue there and then face your petal downward yes to the bottom of the cup and keep gluing your petals all the way around because you want the bottom of your cup to resemble a beautiful bright flower <laughs> Okay, great, now we have our cup looking more like a flower. We're gonna take a piece of yarn and thread it through holes in the top lip of our cup. We're gonna use this yarn to hang up our cup in the backyard or someplace where we think we'll attract a butterfly. Now that you've got it hung up, you can pour a little bit of fruit juice in the cup. I'm using orange juice here. Yes, and then the fruit juice will soak up in the sponge and when a butterfly comes to land on the bottom of the cup thinking it's a flower, it will lap up that sweet fruit juice. Hopefully you'll get to see what kind of butterfly. Maybe it's a buckeye butterfly. It looks like it has some eyes on its wings. Or maybe a tiger swallowtail butterfly. It's big and yellow and you won't miss it. Or it could be the Arkansas butterfly, the Diana fritillary. This one's blue because it's a female. Or maybe it's the boy, male version of the fritillary butterfly, like this one. Or maybe you'll see a monarch. Wow, that would be amazing. Cool thing, in Arkansas, there is a copycat butterfly that looks just like the monarch. It's called the Viceroy. The reason why it wants to copy the monarch is because the monarch is poisonous to birds and it wants to look like the monarch so it doesn't get eaten. Wow, isn't that great? Well, thanks for watching and don't forget to utilize our curbside pickup if you want to learn more about butterflies. Also, explore our Hoopala Digital online. We've got lots of ebooks about butterflies and pollinators there too.